Live and Panhandle Strong Together. This is News 13 at 6. After three months, we're beginning to get an idea of what happened the night a young man was killed in Parker. He was allegedly involved in a dispute that led to a drive-by shooting. Now, no one has been charged so far, but as News 13's Emma Riley tells us, a video of the incident has now surfaced. They made this look like it's um, just a blatant murder. It is. It's all over, a, all over a simple girl. Somebody had to lose their life over a girl. Walter Green says his stepson Darius was visiting his friend's house in Parker on May 21st. He claims a girl he was talking to via Snapchat threatened to come over and kill him around 2 a.m. that morning. The incident happened over a young lady. The young lady asked him about his past. He told her. And the young lady wanted to call names and stuff on the phone saying he's coming, they're coming to kill him and all this. So Darius did the right thing. He notified his friend's stepdad. You know what I'm saying? They didn't think they were coming because it took so long for them to get there. They didn't think nobody's coming. They just blew them off. And at 2 o'clock in the morning, they show up. And then that's when the gunfire exchange. This doorbell camera video shows the shooting. Green says the teenagers in the car were hanging out of a window and began firing at the house. You can see three young men come out of the house armed with guns and return fire at the car as it drove away. Two individuals in the car were hit. One died and the other was injured. She needs to tell the truth. The people that was in the car need to tell the truth and let's get this cleared up. And Parker and the state attorney needs to stop dragging their feet and start holding people accountable. Green says his family constantly receives social media threats. He says they're being watched and that they're concerned about another shooting. They've gone as far as wearing bulletproof vests when they leave their home. I'm getting a little bit perturbed with it because it don't seem like the department of Parker don't want to do anything about this. And at first it was supposed to be a justifiable shooting. And now that they're looking more into it, they're trying to make it look like these individuals maliciously shot this young man. And that's not how it went down. Green says his stepson acted in self-defense. In Bay County, Emma Riley, News 13, Panhandle Strong. Parker Police told us today the case has been turned over to the state attorney's office. Prosecutors say they're still reviewing the shooting.